so the funny thing is with this game is that if you'd have asked me a couple of months ago, I might give you a different outcome um, by Munich. I say they had a stumble. I mean, they drew four games in a row. That's what qualifies as a stumble for, for Bayern Munich these days. But they, they had injuries as well. Um, they've still got injuries. Mane's still out. Hernandez is still out. But they've got a keeper and they've signed Cancelo. I mean, what a signing to make. He, he really does offer them a lot more because they can move Kimmich around. Four draws in a row. They've returned with 4-0, 4-2 and a 3-0. And for PSG couple of defeats on the bounce coming into this and um, injuries recently as well. Messi missed the, the previous defeat, um, as did Mbappe. Mbappe is going to start this game. That's been confirmed. And uh, Messi has trained. That's all we know at this moment. Neymar played against Monaco sort of up top on his own. He's not the kind of striker you'd want up there trying to do all the work um, and, and he probably hates it. I still fancy PSG to get a result here, you know, with, with those two back if Mbappe and Messi play. Messi's going to want that Champions League. He's got his hands on the F, on, on the FA Cup, um, on the World Cup, and um, now it's it's time for you know one last dance in in the Champions League. But we've seen it before with PSG. They they, they get the result in the first leg and then they capitulate in in the second leg. Um, so they could very well get a result, even if they are impressive against Bayern Munich. It doesn't mean they're going to go through, and that's that is PSG's history, I guess. Um, until maybe now. Maybe they can beat Bayern. It's hard to tell, but for, for me, Bayern over two legs go through because their home form as well is, is superb. So as we look at the last 25 games here, we'll just compare the teams in terms of goals. 71 goals for PSG, 82 for Bayern Munich, 3.04 per game. If we look at their away form, 2.86 versus home form, 2.71. Um, so Bayern generally just scoring more goals um, than PSG. Uh, they are just superb to be honest PSG have scored in every home game for a very long time of course as you would imagine um, but if you look at that away form across the last 25 for Bayern there is no nil nils and um, PSG might consistently score at home but the question is are you going to stop Bayern Munich from scoring um, this could be a very high scoring tie across the, the two legs especially PSG maybe they get a result tonight then they've got to go to, to Bayern, um, and that is a very different proposition. So they've got clean sheets in them, of course, but they have actually conceded in the majority of games. If you look at the last 10 games, um, those four draws were all score draws, BTTS and draw. Um, and if you if you look at that Wolfsburg game, Wolfsburg, a very, very good team at the minute in terms of goal scoring. Um, they won 4-2, but they conceded twice. So I think PSG have got that capability tonight to, to get a couple of goals, might not win the game, might not win the tie. I don't think they'll win the tie. Um, but tonight, I think it's it's quite likely that they'll, they'll find the back of the net given the talent they've got at the top end of the pitch.